Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with another one of my question and answer videos. Haven't done one of these for a little while, but you people out there are so brilliant about emailing me all your questions or all your TV license letters or all about your experience with TV licensing. I thought it was time that I caught up with the huge amount of emails that I've got and made one of these videos to answer some of your questions. So I've picked out some good ones. I'm gonna try and do one of these a week and be a bit hotter on replying to you guys. But I do have a full-time job as well, so I don't always have the time to answer a couple of hundred emails a day. I am very sorry, but I will do my best to get back to you if you have emailed me. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to the first question. Hello, CJC. Enjoy watching your videos. I've been license-free for over a year now. Just watched the league away, but unsure about one thing. My wife is a great fan of Called the Midwife, and a new series has started this week. I noticed Sky have it on their BBC One catch-up. Am I allowed to download this and watch without a license as it's not a live broadcast and not through BBC iPlayer, but through Sky? Regards, Tony. Well, thanks for your email, Tony. Now, you need to check if Sky is actually getting that program from BBC iPlayer, because if they are, you can't watch it. Now, Call the Midwife, I think, was on Netflix. I'm not sure it is anymore. I'll have to check on that. It's been a while, but the missus quite likes it, so I should probably check on that. But if it comes from BBC iPlayer, you're right, you can't watch it. If it's coming directly from Sky, you should be fine. But you need to check, and it will say there somewhere, because a lot of the catch-up services on these boxes actually access BBC iPlayer to get the show. Don't really know that much about it, but I'll take a look into it, and if I can find out any new information, I'll let you know. I'm going to cancel my TV license when it expires at the end of June this year. My son said if I do, he will need to disconnect something and take down the aerial. Is that right? I would imagine I need the area if I watch ITV player through the computer. Thank you in advance for your reply, Jean. Hi Jean, thanks for your email, and good to hear another person is thinking of cancelling, another one in the movement, and you're gonna save yourself a few quid. Now, you don't need to worry too much about taking the aerial off the roof. My roof above me, I've got an aerial and a sky dish. It's fine to have, it's not a problem at all. It's whether you use them that's the problem. Now, you should disconnect the aerial from your telly just for best practice. That way you can't be tempted to access broadcast TV. So if you have like one of the socket ones in the wall, you can buy a blanking plate for like a quid from B&Q, chuck that on there and then that's covered off. If you've just got the wire coming through the wall like me, what I did, just snip the end off and uh, just put a bit of tape on it so it can't be used. Now ITV Hub and that aren't accessed through your telly aerial. If you're using a Freeview Play TV, you do need to have the aerial connected, which is absolutely ridiculous, frankly, but normally ITV Hub and all of that are accessed from the internet. So it comes from the internet, so you don't need the aerial attached. Hope that answers your question. If you need any more answers, drop me another email and I'll answer you again. And the inspections have resumed. I received a failed visit today and a tri-folded information letter through the letterbox. The BBC have gone to some expense for providing this information. Laminated and dense paper, how privileged I feel but fail to put an actual address on it. What a goon. Having watched and subscribed to your YouTube channel, I've had many a day rehearsing my spiel. Unfortunately, today to no avail. However, something along the lines of, it's not required here. It's an overpriced subscription service to watch repeat. Sorry, it's not for me, but thank you for taking the time this glorious day. Shut door. Can I thank you for your words of wisdom? And my express permission is granted to use any of the above information in any upcoming broadcast if you see fit. Thank you again, eagerly waiting the next instalment, Jen. And this is a picture of what Jen sent over. Thanks for email, Jen. Thanks for subscribing and watching the videos as well. And it does look like you had a visit, doesn't it? And left you a little card. What a shame you didn't get to talk to them. It's not really, it's better that you don't get to talk to them. So it's fine. Don't feel like you missed out, you never know. They may very well call again and then you can close the door in their face. But sounds like you've got everything under control. You know what you're doing, top work, proud of you. Hi John, I currently don't have a TV license but do have a Sky subscription. The dish is disconnected and I don't have the physical app for iPlayer obviously. But when I search for Dragon's Den it comes up in the search and I could if I wanted to press play and watch it. My question is, does accessing it through Sky Search instead of the iPlayer mean I can watch it without a license? I also have YouTube as an app on the TV and can find Dragon's Den on there too. Are any of these ways acceptable to watch Dragon's Den without the license? Sorry if it's been answered before, I just couldn't find the answer. I thought it might be a good idea for a video if you've not done one on this before. Kind regards, Aiden. Hi Aiden. well as I said in the first question, you know, it's a bit tricky with Sky. I'm not sure if they're accessing it from iPlayer or not. You need to check that very carefully. But when it comes to YouTube, 
no problem at all. There's tons of Dragon's Den on here. And I've watched pretty much all of them. If you haven't seen my video, I did a spoof of Dragon's Den. I'll put a link below for you. Take a look at that. Because I spent like weeks just watching Dragon's Den on YouTube. And it was stuck in my head. Made a TV license Dragon's Den spoof. Take a look. But yeah, watching any BBC content you find anywhere that's not iPlayer, all fair game. So tons of BBC stuff on YouTube. Watch it all you want. No problem at all, mate. Hi, John. My TV has iPlayer installed on it when I purchased it. I have researched trying to get rid of it, but apparently I can't. If an inspector was to turn on my TV, he would see that I can gain access to iPlayer and say that I needed a license, even though I do not watch it. Is this true? Hi, Alan. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem that TVs come pre-installed with iPlayer, and they're trying to make sure through government charter that uh, iPlayer is installed on TVs. Did a video on it. You'll find a link below somewhere for that, I'm sure. Now, I did manage to get rid of it on my TV. What I had to do is uh, do a factory reset, so go into settings and all that, full factory reset, and then set it up from new, but instead of picking the UK, I, pick, I can't remember if I picked France or Spain, one of them, and then it wasn't on there, it didn't install. But the problem is, it took all the other apps with it, so that's obviously not gonna be a good idea for you. Now, to access the iPlayer app, you do need to be signed in to an iPlayer account. So even if someone was to press the iPlayer button on your remote, it's not gonna open up iPlayer and start playing EastEnders. You need to sign in and do a few bits and pieces. But the most important thing in your email that you just said there is if an inspector was to see my TV, why are they in your house? Do not let them in your house. All you need to know is the license is based on whether you use those services, not if you can access them. Everybody can access them. You know, I've got, my sister's got a fridge that's got iPlayer built into it. You know, if she doesn't use it, she has a license, it doesn't matter. But do you know what I mean? Most people have the ability to access these services. The license is based on whether you do or not. So it's okay to have iPlayer on your telly, just don't sign into it, don't use it, and never, ever, ever let a license inspector into your property. Just get the door shut on them, get the door shut. Yesterday, a goon called here, Mrs. opened the door. They asked, was she Mrs. X? She said yes before knowing who it was. He was trying to put words in her mouth as she was getting upset, I went to the door and stated, we only watch Netflix. Mrs. even offered to let them in to see, did not want to come in. Will getting her name cause a problem as they went off in a huff. I told her in future, shut the door unless she knows who they are. Keep up the good work, thanks. Hi Kenneth, I won't worry too much because they already knew her name because they said, are you Mrs. X? She said yes, it wasn't like she gave her name to them. They already knew the name, wouldn't worry about it too much. They didn't get in, as long as she didn't say, you know, we do watch a bit of live telly, you got nothing to worry about. You took over, time to go away, shut the door, and that's the best way to deal with them, granted. Now, as long as she didn't say anything too incriminating, you know, because you shouldn't be watching live TV if you haven't got a license anyway, so as long as she didn't say, oh, well, I only, I don't watch BBC channels, but I do watch Corrie, or whatever, yeah, you know, you've got to be careful. So it sounds like you're probably going to be all right. I won't worry about the name thing, they knew the name anyway. You didn't let them in, don't let them in. Any further contact from them, just get the door shut get the door shut, but you know that anyway because you said it. So you'll be all right, don't worry, you should be all right. But keep in contact, let me know if anything does happen, will you? Hi John, we had a visit from a TV licensed goon today. Despite briefing my wife several times about what to do and say, she opened the door wide so we could see right into our flat where there is clearly a TV on and I'm watching my computer. We never watch BBC or live TV. He asked if I was Mr, can't say the name, and I said yes. Then he said he was from TV licensing. I said I wasn't interested and asked my wife to close the door. She didn't. He said, you don't want a TV license for your TV. I said, we don't need one. He said, okay, thanks, and went away. I was wondering what you thought would be the next step. Will they be back? Will they try and get a warrant? Like I said, we never watch BBC, never watch live TV. Thanks, Paul. It sounds like you didn't handle it too bad, but the door should have been shut rather than talking to them at all. As soon as I said from TV licensing, get the door shut, and then there's nothing they can do. That depends what you was watching on your telly. You know, if you was watching something you shouldn't, it says you weren't, you should be all right. I can't see any problem with that. They haven't got any evidence. Seeing a TV in the house on with a TV show showing isn't really evidence that you're doing something that you shouldn't. But if it was a BBC show or something you was watching, say on YouTube, whatever, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Do keep in contact and let me know if you get any letters or any, any future visits from them. I'd be intrigued to know. But I do think you're probably going to be all right, yeah. I've not owned a TV or a license for about 12 years now, and I've had a couple of the doorstep visits in the past, but they seem to have stopped doing it now. I usually get an email every couple of years asking whether I still don't need one.
What sometimes confuses me is why folks are happy to pay huge monthly fees to Sky, but object to paying the licence, which is really just a subscription to the BBC. If the licence ever gets abolished, the BBC are still going to have to find the money they need, so they will probably introduce their own subscription service, which is bound to be far more than the current licence fee. I know you have the option not to pay it, but will folks be happy to lose their favourite soaps and such like? It seems to be one of those be careful what you wish for things. Yeah, I know what you mean, but the big problem here is the money for the TV licence goes to the BBC. But you need a TV licence to watch ITV, Channel 4, Sky, etc. So it's not a subscription to the BBC. It's a racket. It's an absolute racket. Now, if the BBC licence fee was just for watching BBC channels and BBC iPlayer, and if you didn't have a licence, you couldn't watch those, but you could watch 3, 4, 5, Sky, whatever, blah, 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 then that would be fine. I wouldn't have such a big problem with it because you can choose to not pay it, but you're not getting mugged off. But the problem is, they're just taking the mickey, aren't they? You know, BBC get all the money, but if you don't have the licence, you can't watch Channel 4, you can't watch Sky 1, you can't watch Discovery Channel. It's an absolute racket. BBC can go to a subscription service, and they can if they want. I think they should just go commercial, if you like all the other channels, and it will make them work harder for their money, because they've got to please advertisers, which means they've got to make better stuff. That's the way I look at it. But yeah, I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying, but many people watching this channel would just be glad if the BBC just buggered off anyway, I think, really. We have just cancelled our TV licence. Can we watch 5 USA as it's being broadcast? Many thanks. No, nope. you can't watch any TV channel as it's being broadcast. Doesn't matter if it's an American channel, doesn't matter if it's an Iranian channel, doesn't matter if it's an Australian channel. If it's as it's being broadcast within the UK, without a TV licence, you can't watch it. Absolute racket, isn't it? Absolutely stupid. How they get away with it, no idea whatsoever. But 5 USA, I think you can get on catch-up services anyway, can't you? So you'll be able to watch all the shows. Just do that. I have the latest Fire Stick and was hoping that would resolve the issues with the all four streaming service. But lo and behold, the app still does not work. I have a newer Android phone, still no joy. It is now getting ridiculous and I've not been able to watch catch-up all four properly for years now. I was wondering, do you have any recommendations that does not include Sky TV, Now TV? App never were, even with old now box, which I cannot afford at the present time. Thanks, look forward to your reply. Well, I'm not sure what's going on there, Angie, because I've got a couple of Fire Sticks, and I've got the All4 app, and it works really well. Now, I have the posh Xiaomi box, and I do have problems with the All4 app on that. Sometimes it's not even available to download, and sometimes it doesn't work, and it's a bit messy. But I've never had a problem with it, with the Fire TV Stick. So what I might suggest you do, go into the settings, do a full factory reset, on your Fire TV stick. Try that and that might fix your problem and you'll be able to download the app. Because you shouldn't be having these problems with that. Some of the Android phones aren't fully compatible with the All4 app either. I've got an LG phone and the All4 app doesn't work on that. Absolute mess. I don't know why, all the other apps work. Just, you know, All4 plays up a little bit on some of them. But you shouldn't be having any problems on a Fire stick. So I would suggest, as I said, go into the settings, do a full factory reset, try again. Let me know if that works for you. So if you have a question you need to ask me, contact details are below. You can fill out the form, send me an email. I cannot promise when I'll be able to reply to you. Because as I say, you know, I get hundreds and hundreds of emails from you brilliant people every week. And um, you know, I do have a full-time job and I have to make these videos and I'm bits and pieces. I see the missus once in a while. You know, I have to see her sometimes. So uh, I can't promise when I get back to you, but I will do my best to get back to you. And maybe if you send a good enough question, it might feature in one of these videos. I'm going to try and do one of these a week. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video again soon. Bye.